End of proceedings. It began terribly for Matty Holmes. This challenge broke his right ankle. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Then the Charlton defensive shambles began in earnest. Friedman should never have been allowed in. That's what the keeper thought, so he pulled him down. Keith Curl dispatched the penalty, and worse was to come. Mark Byrne might as well have passed to Don Goodman, who took his time, picked his man. That man was 17-year-old Lee Naylor, and that's how to head a ball. But this is not how to clear one. Phil Chappell kicks air as Friedman's cross finds Patalainen, who said, thanks very much. It's Wolves Wimbledon in the fifth round. This is Nick Clark for London Today. No. But it's at Molyneux during Wolves' win over Charlton. Alan Kerbishley says he'll take the strongest possible action against Mark Bright if video evidence justifies the Charlton striker's red card for stamping. Nick Collins reports. Head down amidst a crescendo of booing, Mark Bright trudges sadly off. But was the 35-year-old striker guilty of stamping or just following in like any good front man should? The furious reactions of the Wolves players suggested they took the former view. A view shared by referee Graham Pohl. But the video evidence isn't entirely conclusive. From here it looks as if Bright does appear to stand on keeper Mike Stowell. But even from this angle it's difficult to tell whether it was deliberate. The truth is, probably only Bright himself really knows. Now it's up to what his boss thinks. If he's jeopardised his place and jeopardised uh, our future games, I'll find him as much as I can. Pain etched in his face, Matty Holmes lies injured after breaking his leg just five minutes into the cup tie. Yes, this definitely wasn't Charlton's night. It's been a disastrous evening for us, and I think you can tell that by the way I'm talking. Uh, it's been a disastrous night. Wasn't it just? First Mark Kinsella dithered, then Andy Pettersen pulled down Dougie Friedman. A clear penalty and well struck by Keith Curl. Up until then, Wolves' best player had been Dean Richards. Steve Jones denied by a brilliant goal-saving tackle. The big defender back to his best following a serious knee injury and attracting Premiership attention. It's not as if I'm somewhere where I'm desperate to get away, so you know, I'll just carry on playing my football and giving 100% for Wolves and... You know, let the speculation take care of itself. That said, he's a player who definitely looks Premiership quality. The Premiership's where the spotlight is. I mean, it's probably the best league in the world at the moment, obviously. So everybody wants to play there, and I'm no different. Richards also had a hand in the second goal, though Don Goodman still had a lot of work to do before his long cross was met by 17-year-old Lee Naylor. His first goal for Wolves in just his third game. More bad defending, let in the Finn Mixu Patalainen. 3-0 the final score. Nick Collins, Sky Sports, Molyneux.